The inflatable cylindrical stopper may only be used in cylindrical pipes. This type of stopper will suit a range of pipe diameters, and it is crucial to note that a cylindrical stopper has a specific inflation pressure recorded on each stopper that must be matched to the inflation controller with which it is inflated. This short film will demonstrate how to correctly use, remove, and inspect this type of stopper. Ensure the stopper you choose is appropriate for the pipe diameter. Since the cylindrical stopper has been designed to work within a specific range of pipe diameters, it is important to check both the stopper and the accessories before and after each use, making sure the surface of the stopper is clean and free from signs of damage. The inflation equipment and connecting hose should also be clean and undamaged. Before installing a stopper, first clean the pipe, smoothing out any roughness that may puncture or affect the performance of the stopper. Use water to prepare the immediate area. Soapy water will help detect any leakage. The stopper should be inflated to the pressure stated on it. Fully insert the deflated stopper into the cleaned area of the pipe. Then, using the inflation controller and the inflation hose, connect the air supply to the quick-release coupling located at or near the center of the stopper. During inflation, the complete length of the cylindrical stopper should be inside the pipe, with no part of the stopper protruding. The cylindrical stopper must be adequately braced to prevent it being pushed out of the pipe as a result of any water buildup or back pressure acting on the stopper. Once the stopper has been inflated to the required pressure, disconnect the hose and check for air leaks around the air coupling using a soapy water solution. Check the inflation pressure of the stopper regularly by reconnecting the inflation controller and hose. It is the responsibility of the user to ensure that the pipe is in a suitable condition to accept the working pressure of the stopper. The stopper should not be used in unsound, uncovered or unrestrained pipework where the pressure of the stopper may cause serious damage to the pipe wall. After use and before deflating the stopper, ensure that all back pressure has been released prior to removal of the bracing. To deflate the cylindrical stopper, attach the controller and hose, but not the compressor, and depress the trigger to exhaust the air from the stopper. This should be carried out from a safe distance. Once the stopper has fully deflated, it may be carefully removed from the pipe. For bypass stoppers, the operating instructions remain the same. Whether the bypass stopper is being used for water testing or being used with attachable lay-flat hose, all stoppers must be adequately braced when in use.